So today we are going to be solving a nice problem related to the functional equation. The value of f of f of x has been given that is x to the power 4 minus 6x six cube plus 6x square plus 9. And now the question over here is to find the value of the function f of x that will satisfy this equation. So this is unmul and now let us see the solution. How can we solve this problem? Ok now let us start with the solution. So the first thing we can notice over here is that we are dealing with the functional equation. So let us see the basic things related to the functional equation. So function f of x has been given for example that is ax plus b. Now this thing over here is basically an example of a function. The right hand side gives us the equation and the left hand side tells us what variable should be used in that equation. Like over here we were having f of x. So in the function f we need to use the variable x in order to get this equation. Similarly, if it has been given that f of x has this particular value, then find the value of f of y. So all we need to do is we need to change the variable x with y. So when we will do so, the equation will turn out to be ay plus b. Okay, as simple as that. The function is simply this particular equation and what variable should be used in that equation is given by the value present in this particular bracket. Okay, now using this fact, what can you say about the value of f of f of x okay now as i told you the function f is basically this equation ax plus b now this value that is the place where we need to put the variable so here the variable was x now here the variable is f of x so simply we will put f of x over there and plus b so i'm just writing it clear if it has been given that f of x has a value ax plus b then the value of f of f of x will turn out to be a times f of x plus b. You can see that the function f is equals to this equation and what variable should we use is given by this bracket. So over here the bracket value was f of x. So we simply put that over there. Okay. Now this right hand side can even be simplified further because from this first equation we have the value of f of x that is ax plus b. So over here a as it is multiplied with ax plus b and plus b outside as it is. So simplifying this thing will give me a square x plus a b plus b and this is finally the value of f of f of x. Okay. Now let us begin with the solution of this problem. Okay. So the first thing that I will do is I will take the right hand side and try to factorize that thing as much as possible. So the first thing that I can notice over here there are four terms present over there. All that four terms contain the variable x. So what I can do is I can simply take x common. So inside the bracket I will have x cube minus 6x square plus 6x plus 9. Okay. Now this particular expression present inside the bracket is a nice cubic equation. And all we need to do is we need to split negative 6x square as negative 3x square negative 3x square. And the positive 6x as 9 times x minus 3 times x okay you can see that this thing will give us 6x and this thing will give us negative 6x square so let us rewrite this equation so x in multiplication as it is multiplied with x cube as it is now instead of negative 6x square negative 3x square negative 3x square and instead of 6 times x positive 9x negative 3x and positive 9 okay now the next step x in multiplication as it is and factorizing this expression present inside the bracket so from these two terms i can take x square common so inside the bracket x minus 3 from these two terms i can take negative 3x common so inside the bracket x minus 3 and from these two i can take negative 3 common therefore inside the bracket x minus 3 now we can see that from all these three terms we can again take x minus 3 common so inside the bracket x square minus 3x minus 3 that are these particular terms that are in multiplication and all these things still multiplying with x okay now from here starts the main thing you can just move forward and simplify this thing in many possible ways but only one way is the correct way you can even factorize and simplify this thing further and get some equation that will not help you as much as the equation that i am going to show you now will help so what you need to do is you need to open the bracket of x with x minus 3 so when you will do so you will get x square minus 3 times x and this thing still multiplying with this bracket that is x square minus 3x minus 3 
okay now in the next step i will simply open this particular bracket with this one now wait a minute if you simply go ahead and open this bracket like x square into this x square into 3x x square into negative 3 then this 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 what you will get is the original lhs that we are trying to modify so we need to do something different so what i will do is i will make a pair of this like this way and negative 3 as it is so this thing i will first of all multiply with this complete bracket so x square minus 3x multiplied with x square minus 3x now negative 3 multiplied with x square minus 3x now we can see that this term over here is simply x square minus 3 times x the complete square these two brackets are same to same and the remaining term that is negative 3 times x square minus 3 times x okay and now we will finally stop at this particular step and do no more simplification work so till now we have just simplified and modified the right hand side of this particular equation and we have got this as the right hand side value so now we will again write down the original equation that was given in the question so f of f of x equals to now it was equals to that particular thing and by simplification and modification we have got the value of the same thing equals to this thing so i will put the new value over here so that is x square minus 3 times x the complete square minus 3 times x square minus 3 times x okay so now we have this particular equation and to simplify this thing further i will simply assume that my f of x equals to x square minus 3 times x so when i've assumed this thing the value of this particular expression will turn out to be f of f of x equals to this value as f of x and it is getting square minus 3 times f of x so when we assumed f of x equals to x square minus 3x we got this particular value for f of f of x and we can see that because of this assumption the equation that we have got there is no kind of contradiction look carefully the pattern for the function f that we assume was like this way f of something equals to something square minus 3 times something now we assume that f of x equals to x square minus 3 times x now because of this assumption what we got is f of f of x equals to this thing now the pattern for the function f we have assumed was like this way so when i replace this something with f of x what i get f of f of x equals to f of x the complete square minus 3 times f of x so because of this pattern that we have assumed the value of this original equation got perfectly fit in that equation hence there is no contradiction this means our assumption is correct so we finally got the value of f of x that is x square minus 3 times x and this is the answer that we were looking for so this was my way to solve this particular problem if you have any other method other than this do comment below and if it's hard to comment you can email me or else you can send it to me on my instagram the link is in the description